Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I got this look. I am calling this a Valentine's Day look because there's a lot of pink going on here. So I thought it would be perfect for Valentine's Day. So let's get to it. The shampoo and conditioner I'm going to be using is from Suave. I really love Suave shampoo and conditioners. This one is the Almond and Shea Butter. I'm going to be using this Dial Silk and Magnolia Moisturizing Body Wash. It smells really good and it's just pink and pretty and I like it and it's super moisturizing. And this product I'm gonna be using after I get out of the shower. This is the Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer. This stuff is so amazing. If you're anything like me, and maybe you don't have time to let your moisturizer sink in or you just don't wanna wait for your moisturizer to sink in before you get dressed or whatever. This stuff is so cool. You actually apply it to your skin after you're done showering but before you dry yourself. So while your skin is still wet, you apply this all over and it sinks in so quickly, super moisturizing. This one in particular smells really good. It has argan oil in it. I would recommend this product to anybody if you're in need of a really good moisturizer or like I said, you just don't like the feel of lotion or you don't have time for it to sink in. This is definitely one product that you should own. So the first thing I did was applied this almond oil from Simply Earth all over my face. Now I'm just going in with my usual moisturizer, which is from Clinique. Next, I'm gonna be going in with this product from Clarins. This is called an SOS Primer. This one is in the color peach and it is supposed to blur imperfections. So they actually have several different primers that are each color coded for, for different skin concerns. I chose this one because why wouldn't I want to blur my imperfections? I do. So these are made with organic sea lily extract and that is supposed to give you 24 hour moisture. So I'm going to apply this first before my foundation. As you can see it has a little color to it. So now I'm gonna go in with this new foundation that I just got from the brand Becca. This is the Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. I showed you this a few days ago in a video and I've been using it since I got it and I actually really like it. So I'm just going in with my EcoTools sponge and it is dampened and I'm just going to dab this all over my face. I'm going to blend it out a little bit with one of my Real Techniques brushes. This one is a stippling brush. Sometimes I like to just use a brush also just to really distribute that color all over. Don't forget your neck, ladies. Now I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape and I use the color Light Sand. And I'm just going to apply it under my eyes, on my eyelids and pretty much everywhere else that I randomly feel like applying it because that's just how I roll. Going back in with that same damp sponge, just gonna dab that all in. Dab. Am I the only one that thinks this dabbing technique is like so time consuming? You know what? Sometimes you just gotta go in with um, these makeup tools that God gave you. They're called your fingers. Okay. Sometimes it just helps get the job done a little bit quicker. So now since I'm like super pale, I'm going to go in with this LA Girl Pro Conceal. And I'm just going to apply it to some places on my face and then I'm going to blend it out because I want some color on my skin. So now I'm just blending this out with this little mini MAC brush I have. I think it's the perfect size for blending things like this. Now I'm just going back in with a little fluffy brush here and making sure this is all blended out. So I'm gonna go in with this brush here. This is from Ate Cosmetics and I'm taking this palette which is from Essence. This brand can be found at Ulta and Target. This is the All About Nudes eyeshadow palette and I'm just gonna pick up this light color here and use it on my eye as a base. That's just like a little starter color that I'm just putting all over. These eyeshadows are really nice and they are affordable, which is one of the things I love about this brand. So now I'm going to start doing my eye look and I decided to go with a pink eyeshadow look, but I'm also going to be adding in some black in there because you guys know I love black eyeshadow and black smoky eye and black liner. So um, I'm gonna start off with these two palettes. 
This one is from Clean Color and this is the Loveville Matte Shimmer Duo and it is zero to alluring touch and I'm going to be using these LA colors and I'm obviously going to be using this pink right here in the middle and on the clean color palette I'm going to be using that pink just gonna kind of mix them together I'm actually just gonna go right in with my finger and I'm going to apply that on my lid but I'm not gonna take it all the way down into my inner corner because I don't really like that kind of look on me that much take it down a little bit but just make sure it's on that lid so right now I'm just applying the color and then I'm gonna go in and blend it so I'm just gonna blend out that edge a little bit so it's not a super harsh line now I'm taking the clean color palette and I'm taking that pink and I'm picking it up with this brush it is from Ofra and this is a number 11. Just a flat application type brush. And I'm putting that color all over on top of the other color I just did. Just kind of building this color up and they're both pink shades but they're two different types of pink shades. So I like the color that it creates while blending them together. So I'm bringing it up just a little bit into my crease, but that's where my black eyeshadow is going to go. So I'm really not going to worry about that right now. But I'm just pulling it up a little bit. So I'm going to go in with the LA colors now. And I'm just taking that same brush. And I'm going to lightly line my bottom lash line with this pink. I'm barely touching the skin. I'm just kind of like patting it and dragging it over. From the outer lash line to the inner. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So now I'm actually going to start applying the black eyeshadow now. This one is from MAC and it is called Carbon. I'm going in with a Morphe brush. I'm just going to swirl that around like that. Tap, tap, tap. Blow some of that off. And I'm going to start applying that on the outer corner of my eye. And then I'm going to bring it up and over and put it into my crease. I'm just gonna start swirling it around little circular motions. I'm gonna bring it in just a little bit on that lid right over top of that pink. I'm gonna pull it out a little bit. Go upwards. And voila. I feel like I just had a Bob Ross moment. <sighs> okay, so now I'm gonna go in with this MAC blending brush and I'm just gonna blend that black. And I know you might say, oh, black eyeshadow for Valentine's Day on top of hot pink? Well, why not? I do what I want, okay? That's what makes me happy. Okay, so look at that girl. Mm -mm. I'm gonna go ahead and do that same thing with the other eye. Starting at that outer corner, bringing it up over a little bit and out. Little circular motions, just applying that color. Make sure that's all blended out the way I like it. And I think it looks pretty good. So next, I'm gonna go in with this pink and black Lotte London brush. I'm gonna dip it in this black, tap it off, blow. And I'm just going to take some of that black and connect it with the outer black down into my lash line just so it kind of blends a little bit, I guess. I'm just trying to use any excuse just to add more black into this pink look. By the time I'm done, my whole eye is gonna be black lightly blending that end of that so that it kind of just collides so now i'm going to go in with some liquid black eyeliner this is from kiko makeup milano and this is a precision black eyeliner has a nice little felt tip and i'm going to line my eye 
gonna start in the inner corner lightly tap it on there just to get some color going I'm really curious can any of y'all hear the rain in the background it's raining outside okay so with small strokes I am just lightly pulling this across my upper lash line from the inner corner to the outer small strokes and I'm kind of like building up that thickness so you can start with a thin line and then you can make it as thick as you want to it's all up to you okay so I've got that done now what I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna go in with this little thin brush here this is from afterglow I'm gonna pick up some of that black and I'm gonna kind of like create a line with my eyeshadow just so it can be like a guideline for my liner because if I go straight in with that liquid liner I'm gonna mess everything up and I'm not in the mood to do that so but with the eyeshadow I can just blend it out if I need to and besides it just kind of goes in there anyway okay so I see kind of where I want the line to go so now I'm going to work with that So with small strokes, just going to create a wing and make sure it's all connected. And in a somewhat decent looking line, it doesn't have to be perfect. And there you go. So I'm going to do the same thing on this other eye. So I went ahead and did my other eye off camera and I know it's not even, but you know what? At this point in my life, this is as good as it's gonna get. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera and then I'm going to start on my lashes and then we will finish off this look with some blush, maybe a little bronzer and some hot pink lips. So I finished my mascara and I'm going to go in with this super tiny master precise skinny liner from Maybelline New York. And I'm just going to line my waterline. So I am pretty much done with everything and I'm going to go in with this blush here. I am so sad about my friend Christy bought it for me and it broke. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to fix it because it's my favorite blush, um, mostly because it's just beautiful bright pink and it's a really good brush and because I have memories with it and because Christy got it for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this hot pink broken blush to my cheeks it is so pigmented i love it love it love it i'm just gonna dab that on there a little bit kind of pat it pat it pat it and then i'm gonna go in with my blending brush so it's not so crazy even though i actually like my blush like this sometimes and now i'm gonna finish off this look with my slay all day spray from gerard cosmetics and this is in rose I'm going to let this dry. I'm gonna go fix my hair. I'm gonna come back, show you the finished look with a perfect lip. Okay, so I finished doing my hair and now I'm gonna finish up this look with a lip color. So I'm gonna go in with this Hershey Kisses chapstick. It smells like chocolate covered cherries and it's awesome. So now I'm going to go in with my Gerard Cosmetics All Dolled Up Lipstick. It is beautiful and it's perfect for Valentine's Day and for this pink look that I got going on here. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of this color. I'm going to get just a little bit of that off because now I'm going to apply the Gerard Cosmetics lip gloss in the color Fiji. So I am officially done with this Valentine's Day makeup look and I hope y'all enjoyed watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and make sure and click that notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload a video because for some reason people just aren't getting notified that I'm uploading videos anymore. I don't know what's going on so hopefully if you click 
the notification bell that will solve that problem anyways thanks for watching my video leave me some comments down below tell me what you think about this look oh and I am wearing my new shirt from adore me which is actually a pajama shirt but it's so cute girl you could wear this every day if you wanted to seriously it's adorable and it's comfortable all right I'll see y'all later bye